Hi Jurassic Cuties, Wendy here. Today we're going to draw a hot cocoa inspired by Squishmallows. So let's get started. To draw this very yummy cup of hot cocoa, let's first start by drawing a shallow curve at the top. So I'm going to come right about here and I'm just going to go across the width of my cup. So let's say about right here. I'll stop. So a nice big curve at the top. And so this curve is going to determine the width of your cup. So now that I have this curve right there, I'm going to come down to draw the body of our cup. So because this is a cup, um, it's not going to be as wide. So we're just going to bring this down and draw your usual squishmallow shape, but just a little bit straighter. So let's just go bring it down and it's all up to you how tall you want to make your squishmallow, of course, right? Because you can squish it and make it shorter or you can stretch it out and make it taller. But I'll say about right here, I'll start to bring it in on both sides. And now I'm pretty even. Just going to go ahead and connect at the bottom with another shallow curve. So a little bit straighter towards the bottom. And just go ahead and connect it. There. So just this nice big round cup. Then from there, I'm going to come to the top and draw the whipped cream. So come right back to this point right here and we're just going to go ahead and draw one nice round layer first. Then I'll draw the same thing on the other side, but right here, it's just easier for my hand to come down on this side. I'm just going to draw another curve and then I'm going to go up with another curve. So this one is just a little bit bigger and we're just going, we're heading towards the center. Just, just keep that in mind. So same thing on the other side. And I'm not doing a full curve because I have a candy cane I need to draw in that area. So I'll just uh, stop for now. And I'm going to just pop in this candy cane um, and holly berries. But if you're using a pencil, just go ahead and finish this curve and dollop of whipped cream towards this part right here. So let's come back to this area. In this layer, I'm going to go ahead and just uh, about right here. I'm just going to draw three circles stuck together for our holly berries to make it extra festive for Christmas, right? And then add in some leaves, the line, and another one right here. And then in this area, I'm going to stick out a candy cane. So let's come to here and I'm just going to angle this out. So this is nice and straight about here. And then we're just going to start to curve down and then round it off to thicken it up to create your candy cane. So I just want the same width as you come around and down there. And then to draw the stripes, just come in here and we're just going to go ahead. And as you come to here, you're just going to curve and another curve. So you're just going around. So now that we have this in place, let's go ahead and we're just going to finish up this curve right here. So just bring it in and then just imagine you're starting another layer if you have space. And then we're going to go up and towards the center is where we're going to draw that center dollop. So let's go up like a little wave, round it off and bring it down to about right here. Same level. And then go ahead and just finish off this one big mound right there. Okay, so then now that we have that, you can come back in here. You can just, um, when you're coloring, you can do this, but I just want to show you, you can just lightly draw a little curve right here just to give your dollop some layers. There, so, uh, and then we can sprinkle it, of course, with some Christmas color sprinkles. And that is pretty much it for the top. So now to draw the bottom, I'm going to, let's see here. Let's come down, give yourself a little bit of space. And so in this area, I'll start about right here. And you want to give yourself a little bit of space at the top because there's going to be some hot chocolate that's drizzling down. So I'll start about right here and draw a circle for some draw so cute eyes. Come right across, say about right here. 
try to center my eyes. And now my two circles, let's make them draw so cute eyes. So two small circles inside for highlights. And a curved line at the bottom and shade in the top. and lines at the bottom, and same thing over here. Okay, so now with my eyes in, let's come to the top of each eye. We're just going to draw a soft curve over each eye. And let's put a big smile right in between. So say about right here, I'm just going to draw a curve across right in the center and cap it off. <laughs> there. And you know what? Let's add some lashes. Since the Squishmallow actually has some lashes, we're just going to add two right here. There. Okay, so then now that we have that, let's go ahead and draw the chocolate drizzle. So I'm just going to come to the top right here and drizzle my way across. So let's start about right here. And I'm going to go up and down. Let's have fun with this. And we're just going to go across and come down a little bit more. And then right here as we pass the eye, we're going to bring down one. Long drizzle and then bring it back up. And then just go ahead and finish it off there. So now it's starting to look more complete, right? And then um, let's draw the bottom right here. So about right here towards the bottom. I'm just going to give myself a point. I'm going to drag it across because I'm drawing pretty big. It just makes it easier for me to see where I'm going. And I'm just going to go ahead and draw a curve all the way across. So this is my center. Now I can start to go up towards that point there. So this is basically kind of, I guess, would be the cut part, right? So this part is red. And then, of course, I got to add a heart right here to make it my draw so cute. Uh, Squishmallows hot cocoa. And you can add some cheeks as well when you're coloring. And of course, the Christmas sprinkles at the top right here to complete the whole um, look for Christmas. I really hope that you love this hot cocoa and that it inspired you today to draw this and I made it fun and easy. Thanks so much for watching. And if I helped you today, please make sure to give me a like and subscribe so you won't miss any new Draw So Cute videos. See you later.